It's time now for the trending stories people are clicking on today at WKRG.com. Mississippi State plans on celebrating its historic win at the College World Series with a parade. Kimber Collins joins us in the studio today. The Bulldogs winning their first ever national title in any team sport. This is pretty exciting. Yes, a lot of people across the South were excited last night and overnight. This is our meteorologist Thomas Guboy ringing his Hail State cowbell on the morning show today. And he wouldn't let me keep it, though. He said, quote, the cowbell goes where I go. So oh, his status on Facebook <laughs> last night was just hilarious. You know he's been waiting for this one for a long time. Absolutely. Be prepared to see that cowbell with him around for the next <laughs> few weeks, I think. But the game last night was awesome, right? It wasn't in the game sense necessarily, but what a way to watch history happen. A 9 to nothing victory over Vandy last night for the College World Series championship game. And now Starkville will get a national championship parade, so get ready for even more cowbell. The parade will be held tomorrow starting at 530 on campus, and it will go through the Cotton District and end at Duty Noble Field. We might need to put a tracker on Thomas Giboy and make sure he's still here in Alabama tomorrow, because I, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to go and take part in this parade. It looks like it's going to be a great time. It's going to be wild. I told him if he goes to send me some video. <laughs> All right, I do not have a creative segue into this story. I'm not going to try. A woman near Panama City was shot at a seafood restaurant this week, and it was a complete accident. According to police, the woman and her husband sat down for dinner at the Hammerhead Fred's, and that is when the husband's gun went off in his pocket, the bullet hitting the woman in her calf. And luckily, this was not worse, and the woman is going to be completely fine again. All foul play has been ruled out. The man did have his concealed carry license. It's looking like police were called from this. Did the man face any charges? I mean, it must have been really scary for the other patrons. No charges as of now. Right now, we're just very thankful it's not anything worse. Again, so... Very strange situation in Panama City. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's got to be some ways to make sure that you're uh, safely holstering that when you're eating. Do not want the wrong thing to go off at the wrong time. That's just a scary situation. Absolutely. All right. Well, this story here turned my head this morning and many of yours, too. Apparently, the State Department announced that a third gender option is being added to U.S. passports. It will be an X and it was meant for non-binary, intersex and gender non-conforming Americans. There's no word on when this will take effect. The State Department says right now they're working on a rollout plan and the state also says the next step is to get rid of the required medical forms that specify gender for passport applications. It's really interesting that it's on passports. I'm really curious as how this might ripple down to licenses in states as well. It's just another option. I like to see it. Well, those are today's online headlines. You can see much more like this on WKRG.com. Dana. Thank you so much.